Hello everybody, I'm Matt Teller and we're doing some goat yoga at the Las Peacock Creamery today. Namaste. So we're going to start off with three sun salutations. The last one's going to be a little short. So breathe in, hands above the head. Exhale to forward fold. Come to your belly. Inhale, upward dog. Exhale, downward dog. Walk the feet forward. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, hands above the head. Exhale, bring them down nice and slow. Breathe in. And forward bend once again. Come to your belly. Up dog with a breathe in. Downward dog with an exhale. Walk the feet forward to a forward fold. Inhale, come up, hands above the head. Once again, forward fold for the last sun salutation. Come down to the belly. Push the shoulders up to up dog. Straight to the forward fold. Inhale, come up, hands above the head. Exhale, come down. Now we're just going to hang here for a little bit. We're going to relax. We just worked pretty hard. So let's cross the arms and hang for a little bit. You're welcome to bend your knees to make this a little bit more comfortable. Don't let the goats knock you over. Tuck in your shirt. And once again, forward fold. And then we're going to go to the upward dog, hands and knees, and we're going to lunge forward with our right knee. So the right knee is bent, lunge forward. Make sure your right knee is no further out than your right toes. That could lead to injuries. You're welcome to put your left knee on the ground if it's too hard to hold it there. Come back into downward dog and then let's shoot that left knee forward. Right knee can come down, like I said, if you want to. It's up to you. Then we're going to come back into a plank position. To an upward dog. And then we're going to shoot our right leg forward to do what's called a pigeon pose on the right side. So that's the knee is going to be bent, and you're going to basically lay your chest over that knee. That right knee is coming forward. Left leg is going to be straight back behind you. It's called pigeon because you can pigeon your chest out or you can bend over. If you put your knee at a 90 degree angle, then it tends to be more of a stretch in your glute and you could bend over that that leg G let gravity do the work here in my case I get a little help from the goats what do you know that's rainbow unicorn butterfly the earless goat it's a La Mancha goat that's just uh, that's the kind of goat it is it's born that way we don't crop any ears on our farm Down to downward dog, and then we're going to do pigeon pose on the left side, so that left knee is going to come forward, and we're going to bend over that left knee. The one closest to the camera now, her name's Moaning Myrtle. She's half Nigerian and half Golden Guernsey. Her mom is a great milker, which is why we kept her out of about 70 goats from last season. And let's come up a little bit. Bring that leg back. And we're going to come to a sitting position, cross-legged position. 
We're going to do some twists now. All right, so we do an inhale to lengthen the spine. And then we twist to our right. We look over our right shoulder as much as we can. Use that left hand on that right knee to help push you around. The right hand can rest behind you. Or if you're really flexible, I can't do it. But you can reach around and grab your own hip on the other side. All right, good. Inhale to center. Breathe out. And then inhale once again. Lengthen the spine. And then we're going to twist to our left. Twisting is great for the lower back. It's actually great for digestion as well, which happens to be one of goat's superpowers. Their rumen is the amazing force that uh, has propelled them on into the future. That and making great milk. All right, good. Now we're going to do um, the boat pose. Some people call it boat pose. You can put your palms flat on the mat. And legs straight, or if that's too tough, you can bend the knees, keep the palms flat on the mat, or you can put your hands up. It's up to you. Whatever works best. Remember to focus no matter what's happening around you. Phoenix is uh, giving me a little challenge today. Now we're going to go to a reverse plank position. This one's great for the butt and great for the lower back. Not easy to do with teenage goats jumping all over you. But nonetheless possible with a little bit of effort. You can bend the knees if you want to. Moose is just really out to get me today. That's the one that's been jumping on me in this reverse plank position. All right, good. Now let's bring the knees to the chest. Clasp the arms, the hands around the knees. You want to keep your shoulders on the mat as much as possible, your head on the mat, and squeeze those knees towards your chest. I'm being a little bit lazy, but the more you can get your knees towards the chest, the more of a stretch you get. Then we're going to Roll back a little bit and bring those feet over our head. You can bend your knees if you want to. I'm a little wary of what might happen. So as you can see, I have cat-like reflexes to ward off Phoenix and the other attacking goats. So now we're going to do a butterfly pose. One of the most popular stretches in PE class. It's also a yoga pose. What do you know? Bottoms of the feet together, clasp around the feet, and then you can use the elbows to push your legs down on each side. We'll stay here for a little bit, and then we're going to cross our legs and meditate. Woo sa, people. You did great today. Thanks for following me on my goat yoga journey. I hope to see you again. Namaste.